uh, use my middle name only because there's like 10 million James Martins on the internet. Like you search up James Martin on YouTube, there's like a chef, there's a pastor, there's all kinds of people. So I knew I couldn't use James Martin. So I just started implementing my middle name. I was like, okay, we'll see if that differentiates me. I got in, I loved filmmaking since I was like 11, 12, 13, when I started watching Lord of the Rings for the first time. And it wasn't even so much the movies, it was that they had the appendices. So it was basically like the behind the scenes of how they made the movies and really long documentaries that went over everything from the writing all the way through shooting, post and the aftermath. And it was at that time where I looked at that and I was like, I wanna do that. Like, I don't know what my job would be. I don't know what specifically I would do, but it's like, I want that. I want that journey and that adventure. In 2009, I started to teach myself how to do a lot more video editing and shooting. My parents, they ran a business. I approached them in 2009 and I said, hey, look, I'm teaching myself how to do the shooting and editing. I wanna to contribute to the family business. How can I bring this to the table? It's like, how about you shoot our shows and distribute copies to the cast and the families? It's like, okay, I'll do that. So I started doing that. And then we had recitals. I started recording the recitals. And then I started doing commercials and teaching myself how to edit these commercials and ads and social media content, da 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 da, da. Eventually went to film school, graduated, became a self-contractor, doing the same stuff for other businesses, still trying to make movies on the side, started my own business. And yeah, here we are today, still making movies. And I know Gary Vee has talked about this all the time. Find the shit that you love and figure out how to do that all the time. Cause that was certainly a hard lesson for me. Cause I used to, I used to just focus on the corporate side. I got to make money. And it's not that I don't hate corporate work, but it's not, you know, the passion. And over the lockdown, I decided like, you know what? I don't have time to wait and wait till the money comes in. I gotta start just making content now. I gotta start making movies now. I used to study other influencers and other celebrities on how they became successful and what their journey was. People like Gary and Oprah would often describe finding their, their passion as like breathing. Mm -hmm. And I certainly found that for me. It felt like I was choking before. Now I feel like I'm fully breathing and I'm in my zone. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the traditional approach where you go make a movie, put it into the film festival and wait for another producer or distributor to pick it up in the hopes that that launches your career. I'm more of keeping that in your own hands. The last several years I went full on with YouTube and started dedicating to creating content. I want to build up my own influence, build up my own audience. I've been making a few movies and paying very close attention to what other people say and think because I want to make stories for them. I want them to have a great experience. I want to cut out the middlemen and go straight to entertain the audience. To me, I think that's been a great approach. And so, sorry, going back to the question, I'm looking to help those filmmakers and give them not only the tips and tools, but I think it's more of just learning from experience and learning from mistakes is the big thing. It's yep. like, so it's not just like, here's how you're supposed to make a movie. It's what do these guys do to make a movie and what can you do in your situation?